So uh, last school year, um, we'd gone several times to the ER uh, to figure out what was going on. She had different pains, different aches, back ache, uh, neck ache, uh, tummy ache. And so for each of those, of course, it always happened on a Friday after the pediatrician's office closed. So we went to the ER and um, would tell them whatever was going on at the time. So after the second time, we were like, okay, nothing's wrong with you. Cowgirl up, go to school, do gymnastics and dance and all the things she was doing. And um, she got a fever that wouldn't go away. We took her in and um, we realized something was really wrong. And thankfully, because we were worried about taking her because we thought this time we're gonna take her and they're gonna be like, it's the crazy mom who thinks something's wrong with their kid. But they never did that. They were always very welcoming. We're like, if anything gets worse, come back, see your pediatrician, come back, you know. And so we went that time and something really was wrong. And so a few days after that, she was diagnosed with anaplastic large cell lymphoma. It, it progressed, you know, so at first it was my back hurts. And later on, we discovered that all the places where she was saying she was hurting, she had swollen lymph nodes and tumors. So it all made sense in the end. Um, but she was just sleepy. She always wanted to sleep and she was never uh, that type of child. She was always very active and energetic and she was in dance and this was just after the Olympics and so Simone Biles was the hero of the moment and so she wanted to be in gymnastics class. So we took her to sign up for gymnastics and um, about midway through the classes when she starts saying my back hurts and my leg hurts and my my neck hurts and she woke up one morning and she it was kind of like she had a crook in her neck and so we just kept saying it's all related to her doing too much you know she's doing dance she's doing gymnastics at the time and so we kept putting it off um, but she was just very tired and grumpy with her brother and I remember Thanksgiving Day um, we were together as a family and she just wanted to go upstairs to her room and she didn't want to be bothered and she just would sleep 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 and at that point, her back was hurting so bad, she was sitting up in her bed, just complaining all night. And so we were sending her school and saying, you can do it and you're gonna finish this gymnastics class because you asked for it. And Simone Bowles, you know, she, she goes through whatever she goes through and she's a champion and she does it and she wins. And it wasn't until um, right after she went into the hospital, they told us that she'd gone to school and actually had gymnastics the day before. And her lung was collapsed. Um, she had fluid all in her lung. She had tumors and I mean, it was just a mess. So she actually was being a champion in her own way. And she really was in a lot of pain when they called us to the, out into the hallway and they were like, you know, here's your daughter's chart. This is all that's going on with her. And you see these things here? These are tumors. These are lymph nodes that are swollen. And it just kind of wasn't, wasn't registering for us. And so um, the oncologist that ended up being our oncologist came into the hall and she said, I'm gonna spell this out for you. And she took both my hands and she said, your daughter has cancer. And I was like, you mean like cancer, cancer? And I almost fell on the floor. I couldn't believe it. My husband was bawling, I was bawling, and we're looking in this room at her and what we thought was gonna be a temporary thing, you know, it's pneumonia, my brother had had it before, and we're like, she's gonna go home tomorrow, you know, she's gonna snap back. Um, when that realization hit us, it's like, it's like the, the, the fog lifted and we're like, okay, there's something seriously wrong with our baby. Now we'd heard over the years, don't go to UK, you know, everybody goes to UK, so you wanna go somewhere else where it's a little, it's not so busy there. But our pediatrician told us to go to the UK Children's um, ER. And so we went those three times and we were impressed because it looked like it was made for kids. It was built for kids, just the artwork, the way people spoke to the kids. I mean, it wasn't like, they treated them like children. And in those settings, you want them to feel welcome and at home and feel comfortable talking to the doctors. And we needed her to tell someone else what she was telling us. And she wouldn't have felt comfortable in other places because it just wasn't built for kids. Um, and so we, we really appreciated the hospital after we realized what was going on with her because I think anywhere else, I don't know that we would have gotten the support we needed to come back, you know, because it took us three trips to the ER to figure out what was going on. 
So I think other facilities might not have been tuned in to her as a child um, and, and been as welcoming to, to us as a family. Uh, so I was really happy that we went to UK to get treatment.